Welcome to the awakening. Today is going to be the 27th one I've done, I think. Yeah, 27. I've been doing this for 27 days where I've been taking you from the dark into the light and I'm trying to think about what I want to talk about today. Um, I think what I want to talk about is how incredible it is when you are actually living your dream and how you can transform your life and take yourself from the darkness into the light by living your dream and doing what you love. And I'll give you an example. Um, I woke up this morning and there were quite a lot of messages from people on my Facebook about things I don't really want to think about first thing in the morning. Well, when you say morning, I don't get up till mid-afternoon because I don't go to bed so, till God knows what time, either editing or watching Poirot late into the night. <laughs> but um, there are messages there for me and they're usually negative. They're usually quite scary messages about what's happening out there and the other stuff, the 3D stuff that I don't, I'm not really ready to look at. I'm not really ready um to deal with sometimes and i thought to myself um i've got an interview today i've got to do an interview a really positive interview so how am i going to carry myself into the light from all of this darkness that people are sending me and i thought well today i'm just not going to look at the darkness i'm i'm just not going to look at it and now i'm not talking about denial because I will look at it at some point, it's everywhere. It's not like I can run away from it or I'll have a meeting, a Zoom meeting with like-minded people where we talk about what needs to be talked about. But it doesn't mean that I have to breathe it 24 hours a day in order to change it. That has not gotten to be the right consciousness for me because if I breathe it and feel it 24 hours a day, um, I can't do what I really want to do today and be in the vibration that I want to be in, in order to take you from the dark into the light. So you're going backwards and forwards from 3D to 5D, from 3D to 5D, you know, and you're, you're living your life and stuff is coming up. And so I think today I'm going to pull a card with you from how to stay sane in the crazy world and also look at A Course in Miracles. And you see, the affirmation today for A Course in Miracles is, I loose the world from what I think it is. I loose the world from what I think it is. So that, to me, what that means is, if I look with the body's eyes, if I look at the media, if I look at the fear that's been said to me, if I look at all, all the panic and all the stuff that people are looking at because they're not looking beyond, because I believe that a lot of this stuff is already gone. You know, whatever you're seeing in the media, whatever you're seeing out there. Like I was watching Vincent Vendetta talking about they're going to take over Hong Kong. And, you know, to me, I don't really want to hear this. I don't believe that this is what's going to happen. I believe that this is a scenario that could happen. But in my heart, I believe that the light will prevent this from happening because we're all joining in consciousness and we're taking action. Now, I'm not saying that this could happen without the consciousness changing and without us taking action because I do not for one minute believe that God or the light beings are going to make everything fine for us if we do not come into the consciousness that we need to come into and take action and make sure that we also have a big hand in creating our new world. Does that make sense? So I lose the world from all I think it is, or all I thought it was, for me is very powerful. Because it's saying to me, I have a lot of power to not see things from here, from the eyes, but from here, from the heart, 
from deep inside, from my consciousness, from different perspectives. And so from the work I'm doing, I'm able to understand that everything that you see out there, whether it's being put out by someone on YouTube or whether the media, these are scenarios that could happen. But I believe because we're taking action and the consciousness is changing. Like for example, look, let's look at 5G. If we weren't taking action, if we weren't putting out petitions, if we weren't coming together and the other stuff, then yes, they would walk all over us and they would do whatever they want with our world. So that is the darkness, stuck in the darkness. However, because we're coming out of the darkness, we're not seeing just with the eyes, we're seeing with the heart, we're seeing with the wisdom, we're seeing with the consciousness of 5D, we're seeing with the potential of what we want, the kind of world we want for our families, your kids, our families, the future, we are setting up the petitions. We are setting up the boundaries and saying enough is enough. And that's it. But I'm not prepared to sink into the fear and not be able to digest my food. I'm in a wonderful space today. Look at my space. It's so beautiful. I feel safe. I've got my crystals, <laughs> which one of them just piled out. I've got my beautiful crystals. And I've got my cards, how to stay sane in a crazy world. So I'm going to pull a card. I'm going to ask for a card that we haven't pulled for, um, because they seem to repeat themselves a bit. So let's see. If it's the same again, I'm pulling another one. Small steps, okay? Small steps. There you go. Small steps. If you can see it, it's card 12. One and two is three. Three is my birthday not my birthday, my birth, my, my number, my birth number, number three. Small steps. I'm going to read this to you. Today, I'm going to set some small achievable goals. So today, my goal was to interview a really good friend, Paul McDonald from Positivity Center. Tomorrow, I set my goal to interview Brad Yates, maybe a bit bigger, but he replied. And so Tuesday, I will be interviewing Brad Yates. How exciting but you have to set small achievable goals. So to me, uh, these are a bit bigger than my small achievable goals. Um, my big goal is to interview Donald Trump and people like that. And so that is a huge goal. And at the moment, small achievable goals is to reach, to get 500 subscribers on Moving On TV. I've got nearly 400, so that's not another 150. And then a thousand. So you guys need to join because then I can do streaming. I can do all of this streaming to help more like Ralph Smart to give, to give, to give. Because to get on YouTube now, streamers, you have to be able to have a thousand subscribers. I haven't got that yet. It used to be different. I used to be able to stream, but I can't now apparently. We all have goals we want to achieve. Some of us have big goals, others have smaller ones. You may have a big goal to work, to work towards, but to achieve it, you will have to set smaller steps. So today I invite you to set three small steps to help you get that dream. Three small steps. I said the same thing when I read the cards yesterday for Pisces. You need three goals that are achievable, smart, I will do some life coaching. I'm going to do a life coaching show as well for you guys. Hi. So as I was saying, three small steps, okay? Um, tiny steps on a daily basis lead to your great dream manifesting itself in magical ways, okay? Love you lots. Take care. Please join uh, Moving On TV. Contact me on movingontv1 at gmail.com. If you have a program you want to do, if you want to do your own program, taking you every day from the dark into the light. I hope you're enjoying these programs. Please share, subscribe, and like, and help me to get 500 subscribers on Moving On TV, because 500, it's easy then to go and to set a bigger goal and to set some small steps to achieve what we want. If you want to contact me, you want me, you want to interview me on any of your programs, please contact me. I would love that. 
And um, that's it for today. So I hope I was able to explain to you how you take yourself from the darkness into the light, doing what you love. Namaste. Have a beautiful evening wherever you are. Welcome to the awakening. Bye.